Ah! We continue our descent into the Shadow Keep. Something I didn't realize is that we are kind of taking the back entrance. I assume they are connected. Maybe you really cannot get in through here? I don't know. Well, let's find out. Let's just keep going through this side and find out. I must, I require this piece of loot. I must have it. Instead, I have killed myself. To the surprise of no one, this was a preordained event. We needed to drop into that pile of, uh, of void water that Elden Ring is so egregious for. Man, all the way back here, huh? <laughs> Elden Ring is pretty... If, if I would say Elden Ring is pretty egregious about something, is the fact that water is just a void of nothingness. It really is something that... Um, from software kind of drop the ball with is like come on man you couldn't implement you couldn't implement some kind of water mechanics swimming and all that stuff like you don't even need to put combat in it do i care about these people the answer is no you don't even need to make it combat like it, it just feels so cheap for water to just be a void that you, you disappear into that being said it's just the way it is. It's like a convention of the Souls games at this point. Oh, you, you come back, huh? You are a ordinary individual and uh, ready to blast my ass into oblivion. Oh, man, it even tracks you. It tracks you. Whoa. I think we're still wearing the um, Fire Drake talisman. That's why these... Man, that's just wrong. You really had to, to roll through it. It's a little too loud, though. There you go. You really had to roll through that guy's uh, fire attack. I'm so used to simply dodging around fire projectiles. Dodging in the sense of, whoa, it's a ulcerated tree spirit. <laughs> Here I, silly, silly me. I thought it was some kind of fish creature. What a, what a foolish notion. Of course, it's an ulcerated tree spirit in the middle of a lake. Don't worry, there will be a lore reason for it. There is a submerged earth tree down there, and uh, the ulcerated tree spirit developed gills. And now just hangs out with all the mermen. I want that piece of loot. I want it. I will have it. That's why I will not bother. I did not bother with uh, Runark, because I am liable to just drop into the abyss again. There you are, there you are. What do you have to say about this? Wow, a Stormhawk feather. Grass! To be shoved up my ass. Let's just get out of there, here. This sucks ass. I guess I'm rolling. Really, no ambush? I'm ready. I'm ready for the rune arc. My quickly depleting store of rune arcs. This crab has lived for too long. Let me improve pickle liver. Uh, if it's giving me some lightning-proof pickle liver, probably there's going to be a lightning enemy of some sort. The thing is, this is a farm enemy kind of place, right? Here, eat one of these. And attack! Do not set me on fire. That is extremely rude of you. Ooh. Ow. Man, this fire drake talisman is doing work right now. Probably would be dead without it. Rune of an unsung hero. Just a more, an even bigger pile of, pile of runes. Probably like 700 million when you use it. There are people dying here just to the fireman. All right. That's just death for anything remotely liquid. It's just a never in the abyss. I wonder, like, am I supposed to just... I'm going to say I'm supposed to drain the... Whoa! Where did you come from, buddy? Let me just murder you real quick. Here, I have some of my holy power. Thirst! Oh. Alright, okay, great stuff. Let me go back. Places to go. Treasure to loot. 
four more victims to violate. It really feels like you're going to be draining the water at some point, but who knows? Who knows? All the people, I'm not even going to click on the blood stains. It's clearly people just dropping into the watery abyss that surrounds me. They're not getting killed by the firemen. Making sure I'm not missing something. Catch up. I appreciate the comments that tell me what I've missed. I really appreciate that because half my brain is uh, occupied trying to come up with something that is remotely amusing. <coughs> well, so I'm not paying as much attention as I could to my environment. Uh, so I really appreciate it when I miss something, especially like obscure things. Like, oh, you have to come back at night and then uh, do a line dance with the emoting erudition to be able to interact with this fella over here that gives you one extra piece of dialogue. No, no loot, nothing. Just, just a little bit of dialogue. I guess I'll go around here because there's a, a walkway and I will follow it for no reason. All right, there was absolutely no reason to do it. But there are all these places that just seems like like you gotta revisit them when you get rid of these non-stop non-stop watery abysses. Shall this be the the water pump? Gets this flowing again, An Londo style? No, New Londo, right? That was the open up the water park kinda thing. Make it go down. Make it go down. Water drainage. Oh, baby! Sweet! <laughs> that is strange because you would think... Oh, that's neat. You would think that I would have been able to drop down there all along. But now that there's no water, it doesn't uh, increase gravity and murder me when I drop down, I suppose. I'm glad I didn't try to get that piece of loot. That was in the middle of the watery pond instead just use my brains banging some neurons together thinking mm, this really looks like it could use some drainage we have uncovered another ulcerated tree with a spirit to be associated with it thank you for showing me the side of grace we shall travel travel to it as long as soon as i can for now We'll keep going around these parts. I guess I'm just dropping back down. I wonder if uh, there's more monsters now that is draining. Instead of dropping down, it seems very logical to me to just backtrack. I'm gonna backtrack and I'll let you know if I find something interesting. If not, I'll just come back. Question is, how the hell do you reach that? You just jump on the hand and hope that you don't just drop i guess i'll find out right now yep <laughs> all right skibbity tree fragment to me i can just jump back all right well that was a excellent bit of actual parkour oh didn't realize that it was open mother to us all favor me with thy grace i have met many who would threaten or distress thee and oh, isn't this this and all and I Bull cut, I son of a bitch. So please grant me thy grace. Oh, I'll please grant you grace. Don't worry about it. Light. I will grace your butthole with this giant piece of metal right up there. Well, are we going to become, fri become frenzies now? I implore thee. You're just praying. Not from me, my solitary light. Use Iris of Occultation. That's right. I, I'm pretty sure we're going to screw Moe real good with this. There you go. Get all culted with the iris. There you go. Get wrecked. Uh, uh, I would not. Am I not pure? Defilely, I would never. I well, ask, we don't have that in common. Why wouldst thou think to purloin from me? Deignest thou not to look upon me? Uh, all this time, I held in my heart only thee. That was your mistake. You should have been praying to Lady Butthole. Elden Lord of Madness. 
Queeline. Queeline greatsword. Well, he is a queer. Let's see what you got. Uh, inventory. Takes faith and a mixture of dex and strength, of course. It's just a heavy thrusting sword. Fire Knight Queeline. A weighty piercing sword with a blade that undulates like fire. Queeline devoted all his... All to the crusade and remain his great sword in the shape of the lance wielded by the, his liege, aspiring to become a second impaler. I'll become an impaler if you know what you what I mean. Okay, that's that's enough. Innuendo. Impaling thrust is just a giant, a giant freaking rapier. Not my favorite in the slightest. Well, I am glad that we uh, basically wiped the floor with him. And then went further to ruin his life altogether. Another person who gets completely wrecked by encountering butthole in their travels. All right. So how did we come in? We dropped in there from there. Now that the thing is drained, should I just warp back and see how it changes, or should I just keep going forward? I'm gonna keep going forward for the simple reason I want things to respawn. I have to fight them again. And let's hope, in fact, what we're going to do... I'm going to put a, a reminder right there. To warp back and see if something changed at the top. Probably uh, give me a chance to fight that ulcerary tree spirit and nothing else if we don't find it right here. Either way, gotta have that reminder. Make sure I don't miss nothing out of my own volition. Get that sight of grace. The pool must be activated. I have enjoyed some co-op. It's basically the only way I get rune arcs because I suck so much ass I never kill anybody in PvP. So, gotta resort to killing bosses together. I'm not talking about the DLC. Oh, hello, crab. You are a very big crab. You just do something like this. And wow, you hit pretty hard. But so do I. It's time to roast you. A smoldering fire to remember the good old times. What the? Oh, that's a tree spirit. Yep, yep, sure is. We love ulcerate tree, tree spirits around these parts. Wonder if it's a fire tree spirit. Let's find out. Uh, huh? Let's do battle. You filth. Pow! Oop. I just roll. I just roll like a champ. Uh, I barely tickle this thing. <laughs> Concerning. Concerning indeed. Probably fire damage will be very good against him. In fact... Oh! Flame of Frenzy. Zoh! Oh, he missed. <laughs> what an idiot! Oh yeah! Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Probably should swap to a fire weapon, but I don't have the wherewithal to swap weapons in the middle, middle of combat. I'm too bad at the video game. Oh, he mad. Alright, <laughs> that's a, definitely a fire fight based spell. Fire based attack. Is he gonna blow again? Yeah. He's been doing some serious damage. Oh, no, no, no. Man, that does some short work. It is awesome to be able to do a little bit more damage by using madness. I'm just gonna attack through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks to the fire drake talisman and the flame protect me that barely does much. Oh man, I just ate that one. We have a build, or rather a, ta a collection of talismans. Oh, I am very much defense focused with this, with Butthole. Seems like it's just the smart way of approaching any kind of exploration instead of trying to do giant piles of damage. You just arm yourself with protection. It gives you so much more room to make mistakes. Well, there's the Ulcerate Tree Spirit dispatched. Very nice, very nice, very pleased with myself. 
there's a path that goes out this way. There was also another path on the other side. Oh, th I saw this from the top. Oh, you're talking. Are you are you an NPC of some sort? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You have someone of follow minions, and your projectiles actually explode. Don't appreciate it. I think if we do one of these, you, if we put you to rest forever. We're just gonna use cover like a, a smart person instead of just mindlessly attacking. Oh yeah, hit that elevator. I'm sure that I will not regret it. No, you're just a dude. I don't know what the deal is. You can flee from me, you scumlord? Because the, the answer is yes. Ah! <laughs> oh, that is a cute weapon you got there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Please don't murder me. I'm too puny. Oh, that's right. I am too puny to withstand your damage. Ow. I definitely should have... <laughs> Use the side of grace. Uh, we can. Oh no, I think I, I unbounded the heal. But what we can do is be a cowardly scum lord. Come on, please. There, that's the target I want. Protected by your bodyguards. Absolutely pathetic. Ow. I may have to. I may have to. Oh, oh, I have no, no juice left. Oh, we also have warming stones. Come on. Yeah. I mean, it's fire damage, so it doesn't do a whole lot. But I am carved. I want to tank it. Oh, they're too close. They're too close. Is he dead? No. What an asshole. Oh, hello, loot. <laughs> Let me get a little distracted for a moment. Oh. <laughs> oh man, this is tight. This is tight. Oh, you piece of trash. You can't be using cover like I use cover. They're not coming for me. Now, attack! Saw! Oh, oh you asshole! You son of a bitch! I got my <laughs> That was uh, a good exchange. That was great. Piece of garbage, though. I bet that he responds, too. So that was a massive waste of everybody's time. <laughs> really pathetic. I will use my rune arc. I have no compunctions. I am desperate. To have every possible edge. So where the hell was that? It was like past... And across the area with the ulcerated tree spirit. That's where I came from. Piece of loot. Please don't crap me. Well, pickle turtleneck. Ah, pickle. Dog. All right, nothing here. Might as well go around this area. All right, I'll be back. Make it back to that dude or die in the attempt. Oh, he doesn't respawn. Totally worth it. What a battle of the tarnished it's excellent i am pleased with myself i actually managed to win because i am immortal unlike these absolute buffoons by the way i need to retrieve my computer balloons be uh, traversing this land without a giant pile of runes in my pocket no <laughs> <laughs> you know, i mean uh, pretty bad pretty bad oh wow. Is there a counter damage type for fire dudes? Fire Knight Seal. That is an archery kind of thing? Oh, it's a seal. Oh, I might be interested in that. By the way, Helm of Wego. 
Elder among the Fire Knights. Two warp death masks stack on one on one on top of the other. Reduce the FP used to summon spirits. Not add by loneliness. The old man turned his attention to the spirituality of Mesmer's flame, using it as a, in a rite of resurrection. Yet the soulless bodies he brought to life were no comfort to poor Wego, even though he used them for fuck toys. Oh, for eternity. Sorcery of those who abandoned the practice of incantations after the vowed faith rewarded them with only despair. Oh, is this like a, a sorcery? I see. I don't care about it. I don't give a crap. Mm, that, that's what I wanted to see. The Fire Knight Seal. Sacred Seal of the Fire Knights who answer directly to Mesmer the Impaler. Probably boosts fire damage. Yeah, Fire Incantations of Mesmer. The emblem of Mesmer's army depicts a golden ring on the fire of his Sacred Seal. All right, let's check out what kind of scaling it gets. Of course, we cannot really tell unless we upgrade it, but I guess... I mean, it's strength and faith. It may be a great fit for a for, uh, butthole. Because I'm only wielding this one because it has the best scaling, you know? DNS on, on strength and faith. Uh, if this one goes higher, hell yeah, sign me up. So the next side of grace or, you know, the next opportunity to travel all the way back there, uh, we'll put some points into it, see what kind of stats come out of it. For now, though, we carry on forward. I don't think there's been other paths other than this one. I'm often wrong about saying something like that. Oh, there was the elevator. Let me check out the elevator. Although I did see an elevator while looking down from one of the higher places. So I think the elevator is just a shortcut. But let me check just in case. Let's see what's at the top of this nonsense. But I was so proud of herself. She forgot to don a freaking helmet. Where is that weird ass thing that we just picked up? I want it. I want to wield it. I want to put it on. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Uh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to kill this guy because I am full of rage. Here, eat one of these. Eat, eat a second one, please. Don't be shot. I have so much of this banquet of violence. And I want you to partake of every one of my dishes. Right, I'm gonna jump over there, get all the way to the bottom here. Is it a, a death if I just drop? I don't think it is. It doesn't seem like a deadly drop at all. It's just a shortcut to make it back up there. Uh, this way. Okay, mm there was a message here. What do you have to say? Seems familiar ahead. Indeed, indeed. Feels like a place I've been to before. Try ahead, I will try. And I succeed! I am still sad though. Well, it's just an elevator. First, of course, we need to go up the stairs, see what lies up there. Hopefully it's just a piece of loot. And then we can come back down. Oh, it is not just a piece of loot. It's another path. Battlefield Press Cookbook. Describe. Golden Grease and Drosting, Drosting Golden Grease. Can I even craft that right now? Golden Grease, you say? What even is the Golden Grease? Heavy Holy Damage. Golden Grease is for Holy Damage, I see. What do you have to say? Didn't spit Edge. Not here. All right. I do love to get all the way to the edge and then turn back. This is my favorite pastime. Okay. We go deeper and deeper into the Shadow Keep. It really doesn't seem like it's connected, right? It, it is, is like a, a side area that you go into. But who knows? Who knows whether there is a connective tissue here. And we're just dropping to freaking Shofra. Well, I suppose. Going all the way down to Noxtella. Revisit those ant-riding buffoons. Wow. What a trip. Tell me, where the hell am I? I'm going to go back, put some points into that seal, see if it scales better than what I'm wielding right now. Hell yeah, more damage, more ma damage mitigation. Absolutely. Tree Worship Passage. Let me go delay my tree hugging in favor of putting points into this new seal. So, maxed out, we have a scaling of 296. Versus the scaling of the thing that I have right now, which is 310. 
unless I enjoy Mesmer's Flame, it is not worth it. We go back to the Tree Worship Passage, which I guess was going to lead me into this area. Do I really want to keep going that way? I would like to see the rest of the Shadow Keep. I don't want to leave it. Uh, either way, I'm going to see what's there, and I'll turn back if it feels like we're going to a grand other new area. Seems like uh, it's like this side path into just carrying on. Looks like I also have enough runes for a new level. Should be using that. Interesting, interesting. What a what a what a place. Really ominous. Really cool though. What do you have to say? No snake ahead. This aspect seems familiar, so to speak, visions of underground tomb. Okay. This <laughs> It's too cryptic, man. What are you people saying? Somebody just uh, decided to compl contemplate it all and figure it's just it ain't worth it. Why even keep going? Marika, I am here to worship you yet again. And when I say worship you, I mean look up your skirts and then spit on your feet. Tui! Iris of Grace. This one's something that I'm for, very curious about. Play as the, on the eyes of another to grant them the light of grace as a fleeting blessing. Oops. <laughs> Clearly, this is the helping hand I was supposed to give this weirdo. <laughs> I'm not the blinding eyeball that subsumed him into despair and made him basically commit seppuku. An iris blessed with an incantation of the air tree placed on the eye of another to grant them the light of grace as a fleeing blessing can also be used to receive the blessing of an equipped great rune. In the realm of shadow, this artifice was employed by the priest of the air tree to quell the fears of the flock to magnificent effect. It seems like it's like snake oil. It's some trinket that people used to fool people into thinking that the gods were giving a crap about them. Hey, another one of these? And this just goes somewhere awful. <laughs> but I don't want to visit. I'm going to pass. We're going to keep going elsewhere. Marika's rune. This is just a, a pile of runes, isn't it? Yeah, 80,000 runes. That's just silly. Um, let's level up. I forget what I was doing. I think we want a pile of mind. Get up to 30. But here's what I want. We're going to get to level 300. I definitely want 60 strength. Or do I want to go all the way up to 80 faith? Mm, let's go 60 strength. I don't know what I was trying to do. But that's the thing, the path that we're going to go for now. See you later. Whatever horrendous decaying monstrosity inhabits that land. I'm just going to go back. Number one, to go back here. See if there's something different now that the water is drained. And after that, I think I'll just assault the front of this Shadow Keep. Okay, let me just check it out. I'll let you know if I find something interesting. Right away, I came across this elevator that I had activated. So it really doesn't seem like there's anything interesting. I'm going to give it a chance by going back that way. Maybe there's something good, but I don't think there's going to be anything. Oh yeah, there's a piece of loot over here. Do I just die if I drop? Let's find out. No, good stuff. What you got, buddy? Smithy Stone 4. <laughs> Worth my time, yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh, actually, this is a completely different area. Okay. Are you a different one? Or are you the same one I just killed? Uh, also, you're at Tree Spirits. They don't respawn, you know? Let's just go for it. Protect me. Uh, we love the Flame of Frenzy. To the point I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to charge it up. Good thirst. And the voice damage against this thing is brutal. Okay. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I thought it would be a lot more damage there. Nope. I wish that, you know, 
if you're gonna put these oh i'm gonna do this. if you're gonna put these in the game in the dlc please give them some new moves oh baby <laughs> at least give them a few new moves that catch you up guard. like this is the move set i fought 70 times bud <laughs> it's so silly not terribly ooh, not terribly salty because they're very lore heavy enemies in the sense that look the earth tree is everywhere it is corrupted uh we are, we put these ooh, we put these where it makes sense lore wise and if you don't like it well maybe don't traverse the lands between because this is just what life is like in the lands between A few less. We use a few less. I want to get destroyed by my fire. If only you would stop. I'm gonna eat this one. No, okay, good. Good stuff, good stuff. Get wrecked! Stumble! Well, I'm very glad. I came back here. Because we got another monster murdered. <laughs> Iris of Occultation. Uh, that's something I wanted to do as well. Go back to the dude. Maybe he's not dead. <laughs> we can give him the eyeball. But I'm pretty sure he just died to despair from being abandoned by his uh, by his gods. So, uh, sucks to him, I guess. Let's not miss this little piece of loot right here. Ooh, cookies. How, how helpful. All right, let me see if I can find this dude where he died. Forget where even he was. There's so, so many pieces of loot that I have no excitement for. Ooh, some crap eggs. Um, let me see if I can find the bull cut idiot. There he is. That's the door to the prayer room. All right, buddy. Are you still around or did I just end you forever? Hey, buddy. You're just a body. <laughs> My apologies for uh, your quest line. I am sure you came back to help me in a time of need. Instead, I just uh, gave you despair and stole your loot. Seems like a fair exchange to me. Hmm. 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 Secret passage ahead. Hmm. Check it out. It was there all along. Ooh, it's I'm gonna go back there and I'm going to scour that damn place. I was teased in the comments saying I can't believe you didn't find this. Well, it's not my fault, alright? I was riding a blitzing speed through the damn place, not even looking at anything. Whee! Alright. I have arrived at the top of this tower. Give me a memory slot. <laughs> That's not what I'm going to get. No, Roboth's cannon. A type of jar cannon used to fire great bolts. A masterwork of spell mechanist Roboth. The power of the glintstones that encircle the burial imbued the shots, the bolts of, with magic damage, and guide shots towards their targets. But it's a jar cannon, though. You need you need to put jars in this thing. And the thing is, no, it's R. Yeah. It requires dexterity. I may need to put some points into dexterity so I can actually wield a bunch of things without having to swap amulets because it gets rather tedious to be swapping things around. That said, maybe this jar cannon is what I want to use against the... Might as well hit this and have an elevator going. What I want to use against the golem to shoot the things inside of the basket because also I was told you know you should be proud or rather you you had the right idea you just didn't do it enough you need to shoot like five fire pots into the basket and then it'll blow up so maybe that's what i need to do next so i'm testing this thing and it shoots great bolts i thought it shot jars but you know fine i guess <laughs> I suppose that it's a fine weapon. I mean, it does 
a crap load of damage at plus nine. That's a, a pretty hefty pile of damage for a ranged weapon. It's in fact enormous, you know? <laughs> it's like almost 800. But uh, I want more like 700. And it just fires either the whatever great bolt you got equipped. I thought, it says it's a jar cannon, but I guess that's just describing the shape of the of the cannon. It does not shoot jars like I thought. Anyway, I'm going to start throwing some fire pots into a freaking fire giant. There's our buddy once more. Let's go all the way to the top here. How do you even reach it? I think, yeah, 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 that's one of these. Uh, you're gonna catch fire, so it's going to be very dramatic. Let me, uh... Quickly put a black flame protection on me, and then oh man, they're coming! <laughs> oh baby, something else I forgot. I should have equipped these volcano pots that I crafted. All right, okay. Hey, bud. Okay, <laughs> it's very determined to hit me in the head. No, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Seems like we have an actual fight in our hands. So let me get myself a few buffs. One of these days I'm going to get the item that I want to get. There you are. Oh man, that flame, it tickles. It tickles, buddy. Woo! Here, take one of these. And another one of those. Exploding right now? Are you in the process of exploding? No, it's just throwing fire at me. So I'm gonna have some more. Oh jeez! <laughs> All right, oh man! It's another pile of fire damage we can safely ignore. Somewhat. All right, it does do damage. Are you going down though? You don't go down. It just, just explode. You explode, but don't do really anything after that. Uh, I, I don't have enough. Oh my goodness, we see the button that I need. There you go, 50 Volcano Pot. I don't have enough of these to actually kill you. Oh well, I guess I did have enough to actually kill you because you're dead. <laughs> A Cerulean Sapping Cracked. Tier and another furnace visage that I have yet to see what the hell it's for. Grass attacks, FP restoring effect, and mixed with seek. All these cracked tiers, honestly, they are very underwhelming so far. It's nowhere close to the really usable things that I would rather have, such as reduces all damage forever. I need this soul inside the skull. I need it. There you go. Ha! Broken rule for me. All right, what the hell am I doing now? Right now, I'm ending the episode. 